And hello everybody, Peter here. Hope you're all having a good day today. Look, I was just thinking the other day, I was looking at my fingernails and then I thought about how they looked kind of like little single scales just on the tips of my fingertips. And I was wondering, are my fingernails attached to my fingertips the same way that like fish and snakes have their scales attached all over their skin, except it's all over their skin and they're like overlapping. Is that the same thing or different? It must be different because scales stop growing when they get to the perfect, you know, the perfect spot. They're all the same length and they're all uniform length and our fingernails just keep growing forever. Like you see some of those people who have just uh, uncomfortably long nails. Like those some people who ha like put their hands up I remember looking at the Ripley's, believe it or not, or the Guinness Book of World Records a long time ago for those people who had their hand, one hand raised for like 10 years a long time ago. And and they have like long, long, like nails are like a foot long and they curl. Anyways, scales don't do this, right? But if you lose a scale, not you, but a fish or a snake, they lose a snail, a scale. Does it, does it grow back? Does it just know the perfect length to grow and then stop growing? Or does it never grow back? Like like Smog in The Hobbit, he lost a scale and it never grew back and it was a weak point forever. I'm not sure how it works. And do we have anything like that as humans where like it only grows to the perfect length? I mean, I guess our, our fingers only grow the perfect length, you know, like and you lose a finger, it doesn't grow back. But our, our hair, I don't know, like the, I'm looking at like the hair on my arm. Is that kind of like, is the hair on my arm like my version of scales on a snake. Except it's like long and skinny instead of short and fat. And I used to think the scales always like overlapped, but they don't. If you look at like close up pictures of scales on snakes or fish, or I guess all reptiles have scales, right? Is that one of the requirements to be a reptile? Sometimes they overlap, but sometimes they don't overlap at all and they just meet up and there's like, skin even like showing in between them, which is weird. What's the deal with that skin? What's the point of having having scales if there's squishy, vulnerable skin showing in between them and stuff can still poke you easily? Any, anyways, um, this, is an, this is a drawing with uh, used rotaring isograph pens and um, I'm drawing on some sort of Bristol paper, which is good. I like the Bristol paper. It keeps the lines nice and crisp and you just gotta be careful. I think it's more of an ink thing, like I mentioned before. Uh, just be careful not to put your hand on the ink right after you draw it, otherwise it will smudge a little bit. But some smudging isn't the end of the world. And uh, I don't know, I like it. This is just, I set out to, I wanted to draw like some sort of mech, like big mech monstery thing, but it, you know, ideas like that I find are really mostly just useful to get me drawing. And then it, more often than not doesn't, end up going in that direction. And it, as you can see here, it ended up going in the direction more of some weird city factory type thing. Some sort of just mechanical something more planted in the ground as opposed to standing on the ground. I don't know, it's open to interpretation. Let me know in the comments what you think it is. Also in the comments for the first week here, I'll be running a little contest. If you want this drawing, uh, I'll be giving it to someone, just like a little link. Um, just click on it, enter the little giveaway. It could be yours. I'll send it to you. But thanks for watching, everybody. Hit, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. Tag me, hashtag me. Show me what you've been working on. A lot of people have been drawing some incredible stuff and showing it to me, and it's very inspiring. It's crazy how many people there are out there that just like putting pen to the paper and drawing lines. You know, you don't got to be great at it. You just got to enjoy it. So go have you a good one. Draw something or whatever you like doing. Anyways, see you guys later. Have a good one. Have a, have a, have a,